to Let's Play Corona Cross. This door is not guarded anymore. So what's all this? I found out a whole bunch of shit. There's another robot over here. Is that... Those save points real? Just making all over these places. I fought this before, so it's still gonna take a while, but so if you don't mind, let's just skip this. Okay, close to 700 with that flying arrow of Carl's. No biggie. And there's the card key. Also, also we got burned again, so I gotta fix that. I thought that was a button to something. It all began with a notebook my mother handed me. She ran while cleaning out the closet. A diary that belonged to my grandfather who passed away years ago. In my grandfather's distant memories. Does this device play back archives? It looks like someone's memoirist. I wonder if you still remember how we first met in our many adventures. It seemed like a dream. We ran to like the wind during those warm summer days long ago. We were a piece of a star that fell from the sky. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. La trésor in der interdit. What's this? Radical dreamers? What does this mean? It's a conversation with a comrade. Ready, Kai? You're anxious, but stay on your toes. Like, well, mate, you mess up, I'm leaving you be on. Got that, gal? <gasps> Come on, Majil. Who's Majil? I'll pass the link, go get what he deserves. Stay your praise. Now that'll do me any good. What is this now? Aside from the two worlds we already know about, other worlds in the times may also exist. Is that where this ends? That place? Just rally the troops. I did that already. What are you off this say? Observation room, where we observe the two parallel worlds. Yeah, you go to the computer. So I was flipping that back and forth. I saw like, oh, okay, this wasn't here before in this world. This wasn't here before in this world. Record of fate is exposed? Two worlds are so close yet so different nature exist in different dimensions. Under the surveillance of our main computer of Chronopolis, fate. In other words, fate has always been observing the two parallel worlds and guiding them. Fate has been manipulating the world of El Nido in order to avoid any major change of the history it knows. If any event El Nido influences the main continent, the year 2400, in which fate exists would change. The paradox could potentially lead to great disaster. It's a fate that collects data from around the world and put guidance directly in the minds of its users. The script way. Even the save points are controlling our brain. Nothing more than puppets of fate. Instructing a young girl in Arnie 01 to give up going to the main continent as a poet. <gasps> that girl we met all along ago. Arnie 2 to give up becoming a fisherman. Plan to avoid the, any point of contact with the main continent so it's not to affect history. Ever since the formation of Dead Sea ten years ago, Fate's been unable to intervene directly with World 1. Can only cross the dimension and receive data for the records. With much difficulty, Fate succeeded in binding Miguel to the Dead Sea as a watchman! Holy shit! Is this what they meant? Like, they tried to warn us we, uh, not to stop anything. Logical prototype completed in 2300. Integrated the old mother brain computer circuitry to a more powerful supercomputer. So this is from a timeline where we didn't take that out. Oh my god, the plot! Shit's converging. Well, we got the key, now we can go to the, the basement. See what the hell's going on down there. Confirming access granted. Okay. Cool. These things are normal ass enemies now. Crap. I didn't think they'd turn around so quick. Thought I'd have that little nook over there to kind of sneak past. Ah, oh, well. This is only one of you this time. Gotta remember to stock up on items when this is over. Unless this is where it ends. Fingerprint and retina scan required. Please step inside the circle. Hold up your left hand. Please stand by. Analysis complete. Fingerprints, retina, 
C-class DNA all clear. Due to discrepancy due to aging within permissible range. 96% confirmation this individual is the last registered Arbiter. Welcome back, Chrono Trigger. Dun dun dun. Project Kid? Whoa! How fucking deep does this go? This is shaking me to my goddamn soul of me. That's why Lynx needed Carl's form. Things must be inside already. Along with the frozen flame. Let's pay him another... What's that word? Booting. Open that shit up. Where are we? Is that the frozen flame? Exactly. Is that you? The hearer of people's prayers, the provider of riches, fame, and power. The bestower of eternal life, promiser of peace and happiness. This is the essence of what descended from the heavens in the prehistoric age. The living crimson stone. Is the frozen flame part of Lavos? What took you so long? You had me worried. Worried you might have perished on the way here. Well, a couple of us died, but, you know, we got revives now. As long as all of us... As long as some of us made it, we can kind of rend that issue. Oh, she's asleep. I had, the I had to remove any potential obstacle from us having this talk. Yeah, she got a mouth on her. I need to tell they to know what the fuck's going on here! I'm the human incarnation of fate. The living interface of the fate computer system. Or put simply, I too am fate! Fourteen years ago, the night of the terrible storm, the cogs began to turn. That night, Wazuki and Miguel set out to sea, carrying a sick young child in their boat. And that was you, after you had been attacked by that panther demon. Was that you? Poison woods were beyond the healing abilities of the doctors in Terminator, even Goldove. So they set sail to Marble in order to seek the sage there. Not knowing how bad the storm would get. Being skilled sailors, the two men were able to survive. But they were blown off course and came ashore to this island where they decided to seek shelter. At this time, their research was offline due to the severity of the storm. It only took 10 minutes for the system to power back up, but by then the flame found you. Contact healed your young body, but that wasn't all. Once the security card system was rebooted, it would only grant access to you, the Arbiter. You can't imagine the trouble this caused the fit computer system to achieving its objective. Inside, there was a standalone circuit that had been kept hidden inside the old Mother Brain generation. It was designed to start a malfunction, or more precisely, a rebellion. Who would have thought that such a small bug, a traitor, could exist inside of fate? That hidden circuit was based on the initial Ash-tier model circuit board, with extra logic added by another scientist. Fate itself did not realize this circuit was present within the core of its system. More correctly, the circuit was programmed so that the moment fate did detect it, it would erase all record of its detection. So that's her last name. Zafiro Ashtiro. Unbelievably intelligent, incredibly enthusiastic. You might even go far to call her a mad scientist. Of course, I don't believe it was Luca alone that devised this plan. The first curator of the research center, a man named Belthazar, had a hand in it too. Yeah, no doubt. Prometheus! No! Not Pabums! He'll turn, turn, turn! Carl, I beg you, bring it into the MDD to infect the dragons! Fate, eliminate him! Affirmative, now eliminating Prometheus. For the future! For the future! Destruction to those who oppose the goddess of fate! Come! Now this boss fight with me. Oh god, it's his true form! Show me what the purpose of your life on this planet is. Teach me what it means to be alive! Oh shit, I got a feeling this thing's gonna be black, which means Carl's gonna get bodied. I mean, I can body it too, but shit. Well, not the creep in this factor, I say.
Commencing countdown five. So we're bringing that back, are we? Aw, oh, shit. All that damage half temporarily. Well, it helps me too. I don't know if I want to do that, though. Better lay this down to protect myself in case anything really nasty does come out. He's protected. The villagers up so you can heal later. He's pretty strong to be tanking all this. Oh boy. Well, it's gonna miss Carl completely. So it's gonna reset. Damn, Carl's body in him. I'm curious about this one. Holy light. It says it annihilates undead. I doubt that's you. But still another hit's another hit. Wait, you're not full yet. Ray. Heat Ray. Oh, that's new. That must be something of his own. Oh, shit. You're gonna fix that right now with your couple of sh more shots. Tempting as that is to bust him up. Oh, and he's cursed too. Betting, betting the laser did that to him. You top yourself off. I know it's not gonna do a super whole hell of a lot. What? Two. This thing's coming down. Free fall. For Gwyneth. I'm going to stop what he's doing. I can probably shield myself again with the, uh... Only have the cure-alls as far as that goes, huh? Ass. It's not gonna hurt as much, but I gotta push that what you called out of there before that starts power gets powered up. Still only doing 140. Is he weakened? I can't tell. Uh oh. Okay, no, it's coming to zero. affected all three. I could save everybody. Uh-oh. In two turns. Still targeting Stan. Didn't hurt him too much last time. He'll tank through all that. Build yours back up. Shit. This could be a problem, because I can have enough to build it up in time to get the, uh, Yep, there's the countdown. Dark energy. Well, we're probably all dead now. Ugh, okay, he took 346. What'd the others take? What'd the others take? Okay, 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 okay. Oh, and the field effect, too. You gotta shut that right the fuck down.
And boom bam, everyone's okay again. Alright, Carl. Go fuck him up. How about some flying arrow action? Push that shit out even further. Maybe this will hurt more now. It was only temporary. Commencing countdown five. Okay, physical is not too bad either. You start doing some damage now. Stan Kush! 273. That's what I'm talking about. Gwyneth, build your shit. Looks like it's weakened now. I can't tell. Oh, my daddy, are you missing? Nah, it looks the same from that angle. There we go. Now it's after all that, finally. Getting toward the second countdown. Oh, this hurts everybody. Set again, so I gotta come in. Just wanna hit this thing, don't wanna really wanna mess with what I got. If anything, him protecting himself makes it kinda easy on us, too. Who knows if we counter it with our, uh, up it by 1.5 damage. We can totally do that, but then on the risk of losing everybody. Who knows how hard that actually could have hit. Gwyneth! That's fine. I guess you're level 7. You're gonna be able to... Oh, now's not the time to start this shit. Come on. Uh-oh. This could be a problem. Targeting Gwyneth! Finish your shit. Don't know if that's gonna be enough. Maybe I can kill it here? I didn't even see what damage I did to it. Back to full, especially you, Gwyneth. I was afraid to go in for that third hit, because who knows, it might get its turn immediately after that. It's a fall again, which, uh... Ooh, that hurt. Son of a bitch. Go heal with Mermelody on Mr. Karsh. Go ahead, Mr. Stankers. And Karsh brings the brings the victory home yet again. And hey, we all survive, which means we're all gonna get this next level. We've reached forty. Magic seal. I know there was a power seal I put on somebody. 
No, how could you? I fate the goddess of fate was not meant to die. Bleh. Okay, welcome back. And blazes am I? What happened to me? That's it. None, are Ne touch a pass, do not touch it. I know the feelings you have inside of you. The urge to bring everything to nothing is now stronger than your desire to save everyone. You may want to throw yourself off the cliff of destruction. That is your imperative. But see you black eye. Do not drag Carl and the others down into destruction with you. Shut up, you loony. I know what I'm doing. Ain't no turning back now. We don't need to do her in this situation. We need a thinker. Whoa, they switched places? Fate has fallen. Oh no. Does that mean the dragons go with it? Maybe without fate, all this man mood shit from before drops. The long endless night shall finally come to an end. Did the dragons know? Are you preparing me for this? I shall make you bleed. Feel a million years of this planet's agony, pain, and suffering. going on are they disappearing or are they coming here Terra Tower, it's come back to life again. In the year 2400, during a counter-atom experiment, the flame goes out of control. This caused the dimensions to rip apart, resulting in a time crash. Engulfed in an enormous dimensional vortex, Chronopolis was here 10,000 years back in time. Perhaps it was the awakening Lavos that pulled the frozen flame back to time to it. Maybe so Lavos saw a possibility of some young adventurers might destroy it and cre create a backup plan. But that ain't all. Another city from a different dimension's future was also thrown back. Dinopolis? <gasps> Do they still exist? They found a way? Holy shit, this is Super Mario Brothers movie shit now! Holy shit. It wasn't the Dragon Gods who sealed up the frozen flame, it was Fight! Who used the flame's power to devour and seal the dragons in slumber! Our fight's been defeated. Dragons will join together again to start their revenge. Oh my god, the dragons are working for Azala!
I feared it would come to this. I didn't want to have to fight with you if it could have been avoided. Adieu, Carl. Adieu! We're gonna fight that thing by herself? We're back here telling everybody what's going on. Give me a freaking break. You mean to tell me we were being used all this time? Yeah. What's done is done, although we may not like it. In any case, we need to make our way into that floating tower. We cannot just twiddle our thumbs and do nothing. The only problem is... We have to find a way up there, right? Not like the great SS Invincible can make it up there, either. There has to be a way. It's time for airships! At least our objective is clear. I do not know how, but we must find a way. So, like, whatever happened to Kai after that? Doesn't look like she'll ever wake up. Indeed. She is resting at Chris's place. Yeah, back at the, uh, Hermit's hideaway. Her spirit seems to be possessed by the past. The powerful item is necessary in order to dispel it. There's no sense staying in here. Come on, let's shove off. That's cute, you giving me an opportunity to switch party. No way I'm doing that. Unless that was a thing where they took Kai out or something. Like I said, I'm pretty stoked. So is it here, I guess? That floating thing? Gotta find it on the map somehow. Yeah, here it is, right here. Terra Tower. Purple, which means I can't access it. Well, I don't know what to do now except go to Chris's place and check on Kai. Maybe he'll give me more information. Kai's resting in bed. She hasn't come out of a coma yet. With her down, my leads to figure out where the hell to do next. Go back down to zero. I guess this should have been some kind of clue, but I legit forgot all about the Dragon Falls. I was desperate to figure out what I was supposed to do next. I looked this up, and I'm like, oh, yeah, we, they showed me this, and I'm like, oh, right, we never did this. Because I think it was that fate thing I was blocking us from doing it before. So we should be able to put the tears in now, right? Guess you could say fate was clock blocking us. And they're letting us do it now. And they merged to become the Masamun? Is that what's going on here? Imagine that fucking cameo again. I mean, we ran into our old buddy, Gift Papa Pupums. Gift Papa Prometheus. Title drop! Oh. I didn't push that thing, it just cut it off automatically. So, what the hell do I do with this now? Or is this my way into that place? Give it a second try and see. You know of the El Nido Triangle. Many rumors have surfaced about that place. Perhaps you head down there. Uh, I did do that before. I'm trying to remember where to use the Chrono Cross. I tried the two places, the Gaia's Naval and the uh, other one. I was hoping that'd be like a way in. I was hoping one of y'all would tell <laughs> It would be like, oh, I'll use this here. Is Viper in one of these rooms? Maybe he knows. Or Arbok. There you are in the bottom. Must find a way into that tower. Damn. I got the Chrono Cross. Wait, can I show you the Chrono Cross? Are you leaving? What the shit? I couldn't get to him. Alright, where's this Chrono Cross? Oh. It's the seventh color attribute. So that's all it is. I'm sure it's important though. Why do I have Ellen? Because I had to look this up too. How to get to the what you call it? There's something down here I'm supposed to get in the other El Nido Triangle. Well, I guess the. I guess she did point me in the right place. I thought I already did this, but once again, the other world. Kind of made with my own what you call it. You know, it's. Eh, just one of those old games where it doesn't really, like, handhold you, I guess, and tell you exactly where to go. But, you know, maybe with all those hundreds of people still in the sitting lines, like, Starkey could have came up to me and said, Hey, I know where it is. 
That's all I ask. Anyway, I'll be tackling this next time on Let's Play Chrono Cross!